When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AKA Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 15 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay continues, if the Earth were truly a sphere, 25,000 miles in circumference, airplane pilots would have to constantly correct their altitudes downwards so as to not fly straight off into outer space. A pilot wishing to simply maintain their altitude at typical cruising speed of 500 miles per hour would have to constantly dip their nose downwards and descend 2,777 feet, over half a mile, every minute. Otherwise, without compensation, in one hour's time, this pilot would find themselves 31.5 miles higher than expected. <sighs> okay, everyone has been over this one a thousand times, so this will not take long. First, if the pilot took their hands off the controls, no autopilot or anything, just let go. The plane would not drift higher and higher until it was miles higher than expected because planes aren't built to do that. That being said, there is a pilot who is dealing with all the bumps and shifts in the craft's motion due to the fact that it is pushing through an ever-changing medium. And what is that pilot doing? Keeping the craft oriented to the horizon with the craft's instruments. Instruments which are manufactured to stay oriented with the curve of the earth. I'm not gonna go into the particulars of the instrumentation or the technicalities of piloting an aircraft. I'll leave that to someone with more hands-on experience with them. In the description, you will find links to some great explanatory videos by Wolfie6020, who, unlike me and Dubay, is actually a pilot. That's his job. That's what he does. It's my job. That's what I do! Thank you for your time. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that little bell. And if you're interested in more from me, you can check out my AKA Greater Sapien channel where I talk about everything else but the science deniers and the Greater Apes podcast channel where you'll see hours of nerdy but candid conversations between myself and my friend, Jesse Vale. If you subscribe to my various channels, I can pretty much guarantee you'll get new content every day. And if you want early access to these and other unique videos, you can join my Patreon, links to all of which are in the description. Take care, everybody. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.